Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming with Shoggoths. Uh, we are continuing on our journey through the dawn of Ragnarok DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And um, I did track down another shelter. It popped up on my map while I was uh, finishing the raids. I did um, finish the last of the raids, which means I have enough to fully upgrade the Hooger Rip. And I have it all upgraded except for this one Jotun ability down here. Because I don't have enough of the little bowls. The frozen blood, apparently. Um, so, I just need nine more of those. And then we will have a fully upgraded Hoogarip. Which will be cool. And, uh, yeah. So, we do have... Um, we do have this mission where we're supposed to go meet up with um, Evaldi. And he's going to help us out with the... Um, the the thing that I can't remember the name of the salad car, right which is the which looks like a piece of Eden so I'm assuming it is a piece of Eden but the salad car but um, we're also supposed to still be looking for um, shelters so I figured while we're here oh where's oh this symbol goes away that's right when uh where is it uh, let's see oops I think it's because I'm really close. Yeah, I have to search the area. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I figured while we're here, we'll see what's up with this dwarf um, place. And we'll see what mission it gives us. So, yeah, we are going to follow the signs. And uh, Fox just keeps running into that. And uh, get ourselves into this dwarven house. And then we'll uh, see what's going after that. I did uh, clear the map in one zone and I was very happy because I just like collecting stuff like that, so. Oh, I'm not going to kill you, Raven. I don't need any more of you. This one seems pretty straightforward to find. Um, of course, I say it the second I say that. Oh, there we go. No, that's just gold. I assume we're going to go down here. I guess we'll find out. Oh do, we... must be nearby. oh, do we have to take a boat in there the first time? That's kind of cool. Kind of cute. That's what it looks like. Yeah, this is a neat little area. Um, is that the entrance or is that the... Uh, I don't see an entrance over there. Never mind. I mean, the boat's pointed that way. That's why I wonder. The shelter's close. I feel it. You feel it, <laughs> do you? Oh, I love the music here. It's so nice. Just like the ambient background. I mean, this whole game... This whole game has incredible music. It really does. But I like this in particular. Alright. I guess it's not just going to be a thing behind the waterfall. It's going to be a whole place behind the waterfall. Or not. No. No, it's not. Where is the stupid place? Do I have to swim? It's not that way, is it? Oh, did it just give me the boat just so I can walk? Like 20 feet? I could have swam that easily. Making me think I have to, like, get through to it on, on a river. I mean, come on. That was some cheekiness. I think these dwarves would use torches on the walls. Now oh, this one is particularly dark. Oh, a little bit of hooger in here. Just a dead end. Here lurks an enshrined root of Yggdrasil, that most ancient of trees and the nurturer of all things. Yes, praise Yggdrasil. Mmm, titanium. Mmm. Titanium. 
Okay, so... <laughs> I guess the boat is a complete misdirection. I really thought the boat was there to, like, ride. saying go up. I just saw the symbol. There it is. Dwarves are particularly sneaky with this one, I guess. But hey, I found some titanium and a hooger thing. So, you know. I guess that was good. So this is where they hide. Sneaky. Ooh, look at all this gold. Auto shelter. I found a dwarf while I was running around doing things um, that. Uh, oh! Oh! I guess we found all the shelters. Yay! I think there's a trophy for that. Um, I'm getting all kinds of mastery points apparently. Um, yeah, so I found a. I actually found a few dwarves. One of the world world quest things is like dwarves that are in distress and when you find them you send them back to the different shelters and they give you stuff there and I found those while I was messing around earlier uh, so I think I sent one back here if I recall so we'll see if he's got anything cool for me they give you like ingots and titanium and stuff like that which I mean I'm not gonna say no to who is this <laughs> Half the price. That seems generous. Well, I doubled the prices yesterday to make a profit, but nobody bought anything. So, half the price today. <laughs> you haven't was... been doing this very long. I was going to say, did you double the price? <laughs> Isn't there someone more experienced to show you the ropes? No, I saw a gap in the market and I went for it. Why? Aren't they doing a good job? No, no, it, it's it's not that. I'm awful. You do, do, do. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh, she's totally hamming it up. Ploy to persuade me to buy something. Only because I was gonna buy something anyways, but I don't have any money. I don't have any money. Goodbye for now. Because I just bought a ton of stuff. I just wanted to see if you had anything new and different. Alright. Blacksmith. I think this actually Glad might be. The... Yeah, this is the guy I rescued. The reason I don't have lungs full of swamp muck. Here. It's not much, but I'd like you to have this. I know better than to refuse one as mighty as you. Thank you. Hundred iron ore, ten titanium. Not bad. The other ones gave me like some gold ingots and stuff, but no. Uh. So blacksmith and I've already upgraded a bunch. Um, I mean, I can only assume there is a mission in here somewhere. I just have to talk to the right person. There don't seem like very many people to talk to in here. Let's try this. So the Lord of Asgard arrives. I have several contracts from Reda to choose from. All worth your while. Oh, those are uh thousand eyes. Alright. Um God, look at all this gold. <laughs> no wonder it's worthless. Oh man, there was her item shop thing. Hmm. Was there actually a stable in here? This would be the first one that has a stable. Oh yeah. 
I want to see what dual wielding the ad gear are like, or whatever these are called, because there is a trophy for like killing a bunch of people with them, which has pretty much been the deal with all the new weapon types and the new DLCs. So I figured I should start working on that, but I haven't actually fought anyone yet. Hail to you, friend. If it's bird or beast you seek, you come to the right place. Everything you see is for sale, except for Nara, of course. And who is Nara? Your prize steed? Ha! That knackered old nag! She's nobody's prize. But I owe her, and that's why she'll always hold a place in my heart. You are in debt to a horse. I am, but she saved my life. The addled old thing broke out of a pen and wandered far from the village, and I set out to find her. Took me a day and a night to bring her home. When I did, I found my village in flame and ruin. No one got out alive. None but you. Aye, and I have Nara to thank for that. Together we made for the nearest shelter and... Well, here we are. This is the cat that I keep talking about from the, uh, <laughs> the DLC pack. I just, I don't know. I mean, it looks like uh, what Glaude turned into. Basically, but with the saddle on it. Um, I don't really want to change my mount or anything. Um, do I have any new birds? Nothing, I don't think. I, don't know. I mean, I got dragons and stuff. I haven't gotten anything lately with opals. Farewell. So I guess this is the alternate exit. I'm not sure what's there. Make one more pass in there real quick just to make sure there wasn't a mission. If not, I'll just skip over that part and we'll go to um uh Evaldi. Okay, so I've seen things about this armor, and this armor looks really cool. Um, and it is cursed. Read Ma's armor. Let's see what it says. He wore it when his sons turned against him. Dwarves believe it to be cursed. I don't think they'll mind if I relieve them of this malediction. And I think we've been picking up an item. Oh, I think it's the Jotun Blight. When we pick up the thing from it, I could have swore he said something about it helping lift a curse. And I'm, I wonder if this is what it is. Let's see. Let's see what happens. He wore it when his sons turned against him. Dwarves believe it to be cursed. I don't think they'll mind if I believe them of this malediction. Okay. Well, I took the armor. Wow, it's already mythical. Jeez. Um... Your health is limited and evasion is nullified. Take some damage every few seconds. Yeah, that sounds like a curse. Uh... God, I want to see what it looks like, but I don't want to put it on. I worry that you can't take it off until you lift the curse. Um, Alright, so as far as I can tell, uh, yeah, there's no mission to pick up in there. As of right now, we did get that armor set that hopefully we can decursify. Well, I mean, not hopefully. I know we can. We just gotta figure out how. Uh, so I'm gonna run over to where this new mission starts, and then I will, um... If nothing exciting happens on the way, I will just cut to it. And, uh, yeah. And we will continue on. But finding that getting up to the top of these mountains is way easier. <laughs> as a crow, as one might expect. I don't know why I suddenly have my weapons visible, though. I'm gonna try my hand at dual yielding this new weapon. <laughs> See what happens. I feel like they could potentially be really slow. I mean, I'm sure they will be, but it's 
quite a lot. These are some serious, like, Final Fantasy weapons going on here. <laughs> yeah, why is it showing? They're totally supposed to not be showing. What's going on here? Okay. So, where we're going is, like, right next to this. Oh, and I did discover the reason why I jump so weird, uh, like this. And don't take any fall damage is because of in, in, uh, Svartalfheim slash the dream world. Apparently if you have five pieces of mythic gear, I'll just look at the ability. Um, fall damage in Svartalfheim is disabled as long as you have five pieces of divine quality armor equipped. Which I do. So basically if you have a... A full set. It could be mixed pieces, but a full set of um, armor. You take no fall damage and you jump kind of like a weird swan that's doing a belly flop. <laughs> uh, right. This is the right. old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if it's already here. Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Ymir. Is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the sagas of your people, yet I've never heard I never of... said my. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutter invaded their lands, they begged me for aid. But the war with the Vani had only just ended and I was... wary. Long after, I learned how Sutter devoured the Elves in mortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Svartalheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. Oh boy. <laughs> what have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature, I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great, he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide, but I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. To unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Oh, I know the place. Home to the most ill-tempered shits imaginable. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Langrin was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broker. 
Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need. Yay, Sindri and Brock. Also known as Broker. But, uh, they're actually his sons. I'm not sure if if they're implying that they're not in this game. They are actually sons of Vivaldi. They're like, these sons of Vivaldi, if I recall. <laughs> that dwarf will want this gemstone. The meaning like the like the oldest, the premier, the not the only ones though. Be kind of interesting if they are in the game. Oh, <laughs> hey, look! It's having us go to the shelter. <laughs> Did I uh? Did I miss that part? Yeah, that's weird that they're implying that Sindri and Brock are not his sons, because I'm pretty sure they are, but I could be mistaken. I don't know everything. I don't, well, nor, I don't know everything about Norse mythology, and I definitely don't remember everything about N Norse mythology. I have to Google this now, though. I gotta check real quick. All right, yes, I did look. They are his sons, so I don't know if they're just not saying that in the game, but they are his sons. Um, and yeah, and because they're they're responsible for making like all the cool things, like uh, Frere's boar, um, and his little pocket ship that we use actually when we summon our ship, and uh, um. They also make Sif's hair after Loki cuts it all off. So yeah, I mean, and, and Brokar and Sindri basically made all that stuff because they were in competition with each other. Like, Loki dared one that they couldn't make a better thing than their brother, and and ended, they end up making up all, all this cool stuff. And, you know, because Loki knew they would, so, like, Loki kind of pits them against each other so that they make all this cool stuff for him. Oh. Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> Charming. I do not take kindly to being interrupted. Interrupted from doing what? You're not doing anything. What do you want? Evil, he sends me. He requires the help of a skilled artisan. A meeting of minds, huh? Well, it ain't up to me. You'd best talk to Brokkir or Sindri. They still breathe? Where are they? No idea. Sindri went off adventuring. He does that. He does do that. Mind you, it's been a while since he left. How much of a while? Couple of weeks. And his absence doesn't worry you? Not my business where he goes. And Broker? Went to look for Sindri. <laughs> Bit of a worry guts, that one. Ever since he mucked up the forging of Mjolnir. <laughs> oh yeah, they made Thor's Don't hammer too. Leave your name and I'll pass it to Broker when he shows up. Tell him Harvey of Asgard was here. Harvey of... By Ymir? Really, it is you? I'll return tonight. In the meantime, fetch Ivali. He's at the old workshop ruins. Alright, I guess we're going to look for Brock and Sindri. And I'm going to end up calling him Brock and Sindri a lot, probably, because I did play... Um, I have played... Uh... God of War and recently again and instead of Broker they refer to Broker as uh, Brock so it's kind of just probably going to be a habit ingrained in my brain do we actually know where we're going meet him at night okay but where oh is it this no that's the Valkyrie place So just not on the thing because it's not night. Yeah. 
Yep, I guess so. All right. Of all our enemies, Sinmara is the most vicious. I remember when she and Surtur were bitter rivals. She led the coup against him, almost claimed his crown, and then announced their marriage. I know not what deal was struck, but we must remain forever alert to her plots. Yeah, apparently. Three times she stuck me. Three on the hand, then the neck, all in on the eyeball. A true master would ignore such trifles. Trifles? That gadfly was the size of a squirrel. A big one. An ogre could tear me limb from limb, and still my severed hands would finish the job. That is focus. That is passion. That is horseshit. Master Broker, I'm <laughs> glad you have made it home. And your brother? Did you find him? Yeah. You never did say where he was. I believe Sindri went adventuring. Adventuring? No, no, that's not it. He went to find the special mead. Had a hankering, he said. Special meat? Yeah, the special meat. Sutungu's special meat? Oh, God. What's that frosty ass got to do with it? We ain't in Jotunheim in case you hadn't noticed. Well, there's this meat they make down at the brewery. So sweet, it can. Uh, it can. Uh, well, it's bloody sweet, all right? Anyway, Sindri had an itch for it. Just a horn or two, he said. So, off he goes. That was half a moon ago. I told him not to do it. Too many giants out there, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, him and his cravings. Where can I find this brewery? Aelthorpe, southeast of here, other side of the marsh. Can't miss it. Aelthorpe. To rescue him? I will find him, yes. And afterwards, you and he will repay me by helping Ewaldi with a job I need done. Now, hold on. We didn't, uh... Good, good. We have a deal. <laughs> that gadfly? It was Loki. Thor himself could not have withstood the sting. Alright, I approve of Brock so far. Great Ivaldi, snooping around our old workshop. <sighs> Hoping to find something useful. More for me. All right. Okay, this is where we are going. Uh, don't have anything up open, but it's not very far. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, that way. Even after all that has happened, he still has the defiance to seek out a horn of Svartalfheim's finest. Alright, you know, we are gonna hit that real quick. Oh, while wow, we're over here. And we're gonna hit these guys while we're over here. Now that I can fly up to the top of these things, like, Charge! stopping for them real quick is not uh, too difficult. I do need to go to one of those. Um. Oh, whatever they're called. The floating shard thingies. Oh, opal. Yeah, apparently every time I come out of being bird, it's just gonna... Make my gear show up now? That's weird. Hey, 
think there was one more opal. Yes. Oh, there it is. It's such a weird jump because it looks like it looks like you're at a, like f belly flop onto the ground. We're going over there, and we don't have to worry about falling anymore. So we. Oh God. Yank your arms off doing that. It's too bad I didn't know about this ability <laughs> when I tried to jump off that mountain. Or that damn. That damn damn. Who's fa- Oh, it's just a bird. Birds, come on. I want to fight you guys. balls. Well, I guess I'll just start fighting now. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about fighting with these things. <laughs> My god. Like, I like, I really like so slow. Um, hold on, we gotta do something about this. I really like fighting with um, two two-handed swords, like Excalibur and one of the other like good ones. But it can be really slow, and this is really slow too. So let's try. Is it gonna be any better like this? <laughs> The scythes are kind of like this too, like it's just they're so slow and gangly. But I just want to get the trophy. So the sooner I do that, the sooner I'll get the trophy. Who is shooting at me? Oh, this guy up here. So there's a book here. I wasn't expecting anything cool to be here. Oh boy. And all kinds of screwed up in here. Not a bad weapon though. I like it. It's alright. One handed, or one of them, anyways. I don't think I. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like two of them, but then again, that wasn't a really crowded area, so I don't even know where I'm going. What am I doing? Hey. Well, that's the, uh, yeah, that's like the Excalibur finisher. That's interesting. Yeah, that's kind of like the same. I wonder, hold on. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna try and figure out, I wonder, I do love using Excalibur. Um, although, I don't usually use it as an offhand, but we'll see, let's see what happens. Because it feels like this is, yeah, it feels like this goes, go with it, alright, let's try this. That's a 
better. Should probably pick up the fire stuff from one of these guys. Hey, look, I already got the key. <laughs> oh, boy. How do you sense that he's big? Because <laughs> you're drunk now? You're getting, like, his secondhand drunkness? Given the puddles on the floor, he must have taken a bath in it. That sounds like something Sindri would do. Surely there's some sign of Sindri here. Chain was placed here. From the scarring, something heavy was suspended from it. I've carried enough dwarves recently to know they are not as light as they look. This blood is many days old. One trail leads in, the other out. This hammer bears the mark of Sindri, and here, a bag of roasted acorns. What do we have here? The Muspels have a prison not far from here. Jan's house, they call it. Some days ago, Sindri was captured while sneaking outside. He was dragged in here for interrogation. His belongings were seized. Even his roasted acorns, one of the many dwarven delicacies I will never fathom. They tried to loosen his tongue, using the same sweet mead he himself sought. Almost drowned him in it. But the shelter has not been raided. So Sindri must have remained strong, and refused to give them its location. Instead, he was dragged away. Bloodied. Drunk as a fish, but alive. Most likely to face further tortures at a makeshift prison named Jan's House. That is where I should go next. All right, Detective Avor solve or <laughs> Detective Javi solves the mystery again. Um, oh, just about to look and be like, "Where's the book?" But what do you want to bet's down here? <laughs> Run to the brewery archives, Dullum. We got a letter from Nordearth. The bloody fool is sabotaging the secret library to protect the book. You must grab the book before the invaders reach it. Bring it here. Here is safe. Now go, broker. Oh boy, I can tell there's lots of things that are going to be happening here. <laughs> yep, okay. Alright. So, starts like this. Probably gonna oh hmm. Oh. Probably gonna go here wait no here. To open the door. Or maybe there. Well yeah, here. We're gonna go in order. Alright, we'll start here. Oh good, this one comes out. Fantabulous. Alright. And maybe like that? Oh 
While all mead contains honey, what makes our special mead unique is the type of honey. It comes from the Hooger Bloom, which is active ingredient in the making of mead, so rich and sweet, along with providing it with its famed healing properties. Remember that when you are next out and about harvesting blooms. Yes. Remember that when we're harvesting blooms. Alright. Um... So I guess all we can do is push that one forward and back. Okay. Um, That's the only door we can get to. Um. Really making it tricky to get these books. The moonlight brew must be boiled during the next full moon. Prayers against rain should start now. We have so many young couples who rely on our brew to conceive a child. We must not disappoint them. Interesting. They're making love potion beer. <laughs> oh. Our archives keep the knowledge of so many herbs, ingredients, and processes for making incredible brews for any purpose. Joy, healing, ceremonies. We must find a strategy for passing our knowledge across generations of young archivists. Copy every scroll and recipe. Right. Ah, there is the ball we are looking for. Anything else in here? No. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, okay. What the heck? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Alright. Um, so... Then, thusly... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Bookie book. That wasn't too bad. Some of the other ones are actually a little more uh, frustrating. And they were simpler. Quote unquote, simpler. Let's see, so I know we already had the first part of the axe of oh, there it is. Um so the first one oh that's right, that was the multi hit with the axe. And then after the uppercut finished with the enemy struck by chain lightning and pushed back. Cool beans. Um so this is a door behind, so check that out. Really, it seemed to be anything? No? Uh, nope. I just were like, hey, here's this room and we'll see if we can get you to waste time opening it. <laughs> and they did. Alright, All right, cool. Doesn't look like there's anything else down here. Grab, um, grab the last couple things in here real quick. Quiet. 
And then we'll head to this prison. That prison. Gonna keep running away from the guards like they don't see me. Where's this other? I almost said apple. <laughs> Where's this other opal? Oh, it wasn't up there. Oh no, it's right there. Oh, it was on the table that I went sneaking by. Damn it. Yeah. Now that I'm seeing it, the the moves for the Edgar Edgar. Well, I wish I knew how to pronounce it. The new weapon are are the the two-handed sword weapons. Huh? Moves, I I use them a lot, so that's I can definitely recognize like the same motions. Okay, let's go to this prison. Prison. Yeah. Go get our boy, Sindri. Hmm, for a second, I thought those were like pink deer. Oh, bear. <laughs> this place reeks of misery. More than I would even wish upon Loki, no matter his crimes. I doubt that. Loki Sindri was brought here many days ago. I hope I'm not too late. What have we got in here? Stuff. Okay. Show me what lies ahead. Oh, down in that pit. Terrible. This area is off limits. <laughs> Not sure if I can sit here like listening to him <laughs> yell for help this whole time. Maybe we'll just go get him. kind of funny that he's carrying that sword by the blade. Why? Why? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. God, what's happening? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh, that's funny.
need to, I think I need to upgrade my Excalibur though, because, oh, what in the world? It's a terrible place to be fighting. Uh, yeah, I need to, definitely need to upgrade up Excalibur though, because I'm pretty sure it's just a gold. Um... Alright, we need to finish this fighting out here first, and then I <laughs> will go down there. Oh god. I can't believe that actually hit. There we go. He ran right into that. Oh, I need this. Run wild and free. Don't run that way, though. Oh, wrong one. She's trying to be cool. Oh no. I know this mark. Whoever he was, he had his hooker cruelly stolen. I can sense that the Salakar was satisfied on this occasion. It was this Calder's first victim? That amulet, the sigil, Sindri, mm -hmm. reckless fool, all this was a meat. Oh well, it is done. I must return the body to Brock. No. No, Sindri. Why does this keep happening? No. <laughs> uh, okay. Put it on the horse. Yes. Okay. Get on the horse. Yes. All right. All right. Dwarven tokens, even one such as Sindri's, are of lesser value. Still. Can't be coincidence that Kalda sated the Salakar with the hookers of so many races. Musfell, the Jotun dwarf. Who knows what else? Who is this you bring? No! It can't be! Master Broker, I share in your grief. Truly I do. Your brother was the worthiest of dwarves, more so than you will ever know. Oh, Sindri, no, no, my dear Sindri. Oh. The funeral arrangements are being made outside. I must use this chance to bend Broker to my will. Oh my God. Javier, are you really gonna screw with him while he's grieving? Go see what Sindri or what Brock has to say. Strange. I've never seen a dwarf rowing in one of these boats. Oh, 
I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow. You lied to me. You said you would save him. I said I would find him. That ain't my brother. Not anymore. What happened? Tell me. Everything. As I neared the village, I... I heard a great roar. Like that of a wounded bear. Soon after, I witnessed the final act of a mighty battle. Sindri beset by giants on all sides. It was he who made the godlike roars. He... He always did have a deep voice. He wielded his hammer and chisel with uncommon skill. Yes! Yes! I've seen him do it many times in the workshop! Giants lay strewn about, slain by Sindri's hand. But then... One of cowardly aspect struck your brother treacherously in the back. Yet even as Sindri succumbed to the blow, he lopped his chisel and struck the coward dead. Right between the eyes. Sindri did all that? So it will be written. I must find a way to ease Broker's sorrow. And make him amenable to my wishes. Yeah, I think he just did that. I mean, that was good of you to lie like that, but still. <laughs> Where could they be? There's something wrong, Basil. Everything is wrong. We're burying the greatest smith who ever lived, and we don't have his tools to put with him. I came across some at Aelthorpe. If you want, I can fetch... Those are just the spares. He never took his best ones from the shelter. I see. How is it that such valuable instruments have been misplaced? Misplaced? Don't be daft. Hidden, more like. By Sindri? To make sure no one else ever touched them. Particularly Broker. Except now we can't find them. You have no idea where they might be. Well, they're inside the shelter, I can tell you that. Well, they can't be too far. I wouldn't be surprised if they're somewhere up high. I thought dwarves were afraid of heights. Not our Sindri. He was quite the climber. Now me, well, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground right where they should be. How can I talk with you when my heart is torn asunder? <laughs> so dramatic. I mean, rightfully so, but still. Oh god, is it gonna be on that? <laughs> I mean, that seems like somewhere that Sindri... But, I mean, like, those... Those things have only been around for a little while, so I feel like that's not where they're gonna be. Just give us any hints. Find and collect Sindri's tools. Yes, yes. I mean... Oh, right! His acorns and hey look there's hay underneath it. I that bet you it's up here. Like Heidi hole. Hidey hole. Oh, oh god, I don't have bird. Oh, where's bird? Let's see you, old friend. Um Old friend, do you see a raven that I could yes, there we go. Oh, it's already dead.
can't believe that they're going to make me fly up into a nest that I can easily climb that tree to get, though. I mean, come on, guys. I know you like your new abilities and everything, but... Ugh. Landing with these things is a pain sometimes. Still doesn't let me. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. The tools of Sindri's trade. I must reunite these tools with Sindri's remains. Before the ceremony begins. Have they? <laughs> Went the wrong way. Oh, God. <laughs> Last time I saw the master... The disaster has been averted. Oh, now I see why some call you God. You're making me blush. Still, I have my moments. Heroes die, but not their legacy. Such was Sindri's courage, that tonight he feasts in Valhalla, the first of his kind to ever do so. Aww. He's really trying to get in good with Brock. <laughs> you see that look on his face? Evil day has come. Perhaps he can be of use. I'm here for the meat, not the company. You dwarves and your love of meat. It's cost me enough trouble already. It wasn't a dwarf who ransacked half of Jotunheim in search of some mysterious meat. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. You know, old friend, now would be a good time for some grand gesture. Like what? A respectful speech from you, Sindri's greatest rival, would surely... Ah, fuck off. We must all make compromises. I can even give you the honeyed words. Time soothes the well of suffering, brings hope that sees beyond chill death. Recast the whirlpool of sorrow into the placid waters of the philosophic mind. <laughs> Are those words for Sindri or Balder? Balder lives. Why would he need such words? Of course, of course. I, I, I didn't mean to. Well, you know. Fine, I'll do the speech. But it will be one of my making, not yours. We dwarves don't care much for poetry. Still, we can't set about making speeches until the torches are all lit up. Who knows how long it will take before the dwarves get around to lighting the torches. It will be faster if I do it.
We've got to do everything around here. The dwarves have saved the place for me. This is a great honor that they bestow. My brother, a true master. He was, sir. Uh... I did not like Sindri, and he did not like me. <laughs> Still, he was good with the hammer, and the chisel, and the sword. And he knew how to work the bellows. Some said better than anyone. Even me. <laughs> Broker, your brother was a very fine smithy. I... I admired him greatly. Master Broker, you've given Sindri an excellent send-off. It's the least he deserves. But is it really true he feasts in Valhalla? It is. I saw it in a vision. Come. Let's take a stroll. Oh, don't lie to him like that. You better not be lying. <laughs> and Valdi's like, oh, what the hell? Now, tell me, are you prepared to continue Sindri's good work? Helping Ivaldi was not my brother's work. But the fine suitor was. It's what got him killed. Greed for mead is what got him killed. It took courage to go after that mead. A direct challenge to Sutra's authority. This is crooked thinking. Seems straight enough to me. You know, I don't reckon I owe you a bloody thing. I risked my life to retrieve your brother's body. Now I prepare to risk it again. For you and all of Svartalfheim. Bollocks! You ain't doing anything out of the goodness of your heart. I know what you're after. I know all about your lad Balder. I have ears, you know. Even in my grief. So... Don't pretend you're here for us, because I know- Would you have me abandon my own son, and strive only for your salvation? Okay, when you say it like that. I... Uh, I need time. I'm still grieving, you know? Let me think on it, alright? A little old think. I mean, that's reasonable. It's just unfortunate because, you know, in the meantime, our son is probably suffering. <laughs> Unless he means like a day. Oh, so pretty. I do believe we are going to uh, stop there. Yeah, it kind of seems like we're on a new quest, sort of. Yes. Um. Yeah. So we will we'll stop here and then we'll continue on and talk. We'll give we'll give Brokar a little more time to think about it. You know, like a few hours. 
<laughs> and then we will uh, come back and uh, see what he has to say. I'm going to assume he'll say yes, but you never know with this game. Uh, so yeah, as always, appreciate you checking out this video. And I will be back soon with more Assassin's Creed Valhalla Dawn of Ragnarok DLC. Until then, have a good one.